Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I share Fuji camera tips and tricks. And if you find this video useful, please consider subscribing to follow along. As always, if you have any questions about this or any other Fuji topic, let me know in the comments. In today's video, we're going to be going over the connection modes of the Fuji X-T4 camera. While the menus I'll be showing in this video are X-T4 specific, they will be similar if you're using any other X-series camera from Fuji, for example, the X-T3. The Fuji X-T4 comes with a USB connection that lets you charge your camera and also connect to your computer. By default, obviously, when you connect your camera to a USB charger to plug it into the wall, it will charge your camera's battery. But where things become a little bit different is if you're connecting your camera via USB to your computer, and we're gonna go over those settings in today's video. To access these connection settings, you're gonna to wanna to press the menu OK button, select the setup tab, and then choose connection settings. This will give you the following options. The Fuji X-T4 has a number of connection modes available, and I'll walk you through the options now. First option is USB card reader. Now connecting the camera to your computer via USB automatically enables the data transfer mode. This allows you to transfer pictures and videos and copy them over to your computer from your camera. With this setting, the camera functions normally when not connected. USB tether shooting auto is another mode available. Now with this option, it lets your camera be controlled by computers, gimbals and drones that are connected to or other devices connected via USB. With this option selected, the camera automatically enters tethered shooting mode, remote control mode when an external device is connected and turned on and returns to your normal operation when the external device is turned off or disconnected from the camera. Now just remember with this setting, with USB tethered shooting, that the features available will vary depending on which device you have connected. The next option is USB tether shooting fixed. This is the same as USB tether shooting auto, except the camera remains in tethered shooting mode, remote control mode, even when the external device is off or not connected. So this allows the device to resume control when the connection is reestablished after a accidental disconnection, for example, or some type of disruption. Now the next option is wireless tether shooting fixed. So you would choose this option for remote uh, photography and to configure this, you're gonna wanna go to the network settings and connection setting, network setting to set this up. USB raw conversion and backup restore. And this one is with this setting, your camera is connected via USB and it automatically enables a raw conversion backup restore mode. So the camera will function normally when not connected. Now what USB raw conversion requires is the Fuji X Raw Studio program. It's a free download. Now this option lets you use the camera's image processing engine to convert your raw files to uh, high quality JPEG images and also the different film simulations. The last option as well is backup restore. This requires Fuji X Acquire software as well. Now this option lets you easily save and load camera settings and reconfigure the camera in a very quick way uh, and share settings with cameras of the same type. I've actually done a video on this on how to backup your Fuji camera settings using X Acquire and I will link it down below in the description. If you did have any questions about this video and the connection settings, please let me know in the comments. And as always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and turning on the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.